Hello friends, welcome to the .NET Awesome YouTube channel. Today in this series, complete login and registration system in ASP.NET MVC application, we will learn to implement forgot password functionality. This is the third part of this series. So before watching this video, I would recommend you to watch the previous video of this series where I have shown you how to verify registration link and create a login page with remember me option if you have not watched till now. In this series, till now we have learned to create registration page with email verification and creating a login page with remember me option. Here in this video, we will learn to create forgot password page in our ASP.NET MVC application step by step. Here we will do the following step for reset password. Okay. First, we will create a page where we will ask user to provide their email ID. Second, we will verify user account with the provided email ID and we will send reset password link to users email ID if the account is valid. Okay. And third, we will have a function for verifying the reset password link. And if the link is valid, then we will provide a page to user for reset their password. And finally, we will update the new password in the database. Okay. Let's start implementing forgot password functionality in ASP.NET MVC application. As this is the third part of this series, we will start from what we have done till now in part two. You can download source code of the part two application. I have given the download link in this video description box. Okay. So I'm going to open the application in Visual Studio 2015. Actually, I have already opened the application. What we have done till now in this series, complete login and registration system. Okay. So this is the whole application. You can see here in the solution explorer. I have already opened this application. So let's start implementing forgot password functionality in ASP.NET MVC application. Okay. If I go to home controller, uh, sorry, in the user controller, you can see here, we have already done some coding. This is what we have done till now in part one and part two. So you can see there is a registration, verification account, login account, logout. Okay. And to non-action functions is also there. So here in the first step of this part, forget password functionality. We will create a new MVC action in our user controller where we will ask user to provide their email ID for getting forgot password link. Okay. So let's add this MVC action here in this user controller. Let me first mark here part three forgot password. Okay, so from here, I'm going to start creating one new MVC action here for forgot password. Public action result forgot password. This is our action name. And from here, we will return one view. So user should be able to provide their email ID. Okay for getting the reset password link to their register email ID. So action is done. Now we have to add one view for that action. So what I will do for adding new view, I will just right click here inside this action and click on add view. Okay. From here, I will select this one. The name is okay. View name. This is empty. This is okay because we don't need any uh, the module for this. And obviously we will use the layout page. So it will be checked and then click on add button. Our view is added. Now what I will do here, I will create one form for submit user email ID. So let's create the form using HTML dot begin form. I will add 
add one more div for show the message big i thought then i will add one more div where i will add one input control for provide user email id okay so here the class form group then i need to add one label and class level sorry it should be control level it's a bootstrap class for make this form looks perfect okay all we need to email id and then i will add one text box here text box and name of the text box to be email id value should be blank and yes i will use http html attribute so here we can assign bootstrap class for make the text box looks perfect form control okay text box is done now in the form i will create one submit button for submit the form Here I am going to add our submit button, type should be submit, value submit and class btn btn success ok. So this is our forward password form, from here user can provide their email id and submit their email id. So the forward password div is completed. Now I am going to close this one and here. Now we are in the user controller. Now we have to add an another action in our user controller for verifying the email ID provided in the forward password page, right? And if we found the email ID is valid, we will send reset password link to user email ID, okay? So let's add the new action here for verifying the forgot password and this form should be submitted here to the form what we have created in the forgot password page okay. So here action result forgot password but now this time I will use this email id because if you go back to the forward password page here you can see I have provided one text box with this name email id. So we will get this value here in this parameter ok. So what I will do here first of all I will verify the email id is here. And if it is valid, then I have to generate receipt password link. I have to send email. Okay, so these three things we need to do here. So let's first verify email ID. I'm going to declare two variable here what we will use later.
so here I'm going to verify the email ID from database from just click get one data context Whoa. account equals to ec dot users dot where sorry email id equals to provided email id what i'm doing here i'm just checking is there any account associated with this email id is already exist in our database or not okay and if we found the account is not equals to null then here we will send email for reset password right and if we not found any account i will show one error message account not found okay here we will send reset password link to user email id so we have to generate a reset password link here and the link will contain a unique identification number this unique identification number we will store in our user table so we can use this unique number to find the user account associated with it okay and for this we will add an another column in our user table which is reset password code where we will store the unique identification number what we will send with reset password link okay so i'm going to open the database here again go to app folder here you can see this database we have used double click on this and then from the server explorer i will open this user table definition so right click on this table and open table definition okay so we can add our new column here which is reset password code so let me add here reset password code okay right in work 100 okay and it should be nullable so and then for update the database table just click here update button and then update database so our table is updated i'm going to close this one as we have updated our database table we have to update our model as well so here we had added our model i'm going to open this model here and then right click and update model from database okay so I'm, I'm go with refresh because our table is already added just one new column will add here so the refresh is enough for that select refresh and tables and then click finish button so it's updated you can see this reset password code is now showing here in this model save this file okay this is done let's go back to the forgot password mbc action i will create a geo id here for the unique identification number and then we will send the reset password link to user email id with this identification number okay so for generate this unique number i will declare one variable reset code where i will store the guid this is new guid dot to string it will generate one unique identification number okay and then here we will send a reset password link to user email id with this unique id what i have stored here in reset code variable okay actually we have already done the 
send email function right for sending account activation link when user registered into the site this is what we have done in part one so let's see this function you can see here this send verification email link this is a function for send verification link we can use the same function for send reset password link also just we have to update few lines of code of the existing function so let's update it so what i need to do here here i will add one another parameter is email for with default value this one verify account okay so we don't need to change any existing code if i set it here this additional parameter i have added here for identify what will be the email for and then i will update the verify url and email subject and body so let's update it i will update this one it will be email for so what will be here it will the verify link will be different and two more things i need to update the subject and body will be dynamic means when the email for is verify account then the subject and body will be this here it is already written and if it's for reset password then this will we will change okay so here i'm going to add one if condition email for plus two plus two if this is verify account then the subject and body will be this already defined here i'm going to copy and paste and uh, i need to declare this two variable above because i will use this later as well so this is done for verify account now we have to do for reset password then the subject and body will be changed it will be subject equals to reset password and body should be so this is done now we can use the function for send reset password link also let's go back to the forgot password action uh, here here now we will call the function for sending the reset password link and finally update the database table with the unique id of reset password link okay 
so let's call the function for send email send verification link email your email id will be account dot email id and then activation code should be reset code and email for option will be reset password okay so this is done now i will update the user table with the unique id of reset password link here so here account dot reset password code should be reset code right and then i will update the database with dc dot save changes but before this line i need to add one more line i will disable the validation on save okay so here configuration dot validate on save in upper close to false this line i have added here for avoiding confirm password does not match issue because you remember we have added one another property in our user model if you can see here this is the confirm password so i need to add this line here for removing reset password does not match issue okay okay this line i have added here to avoid confirm password not match issue as we have added a confirm password property in our model class in part one what i have just shown you here this property i have added here but this property is not in our database so uh, when we will do any save changes on this model it will validate this to password and confirm password and if it this two is not match then it should give one error and for avoiding this error i am adding this uh, dc dot configuration dot validate on save enabled equals to false ok we have done the forget password mbc action now we have to verify the reset password link what we have just sent here to user email id right so i'm going to close this one and here i'm going to add one new mvc action for verify the reset password link and the name of the action is reset password okay and here i define one parameter is a string id okay in this id we will get the unique identification number what we have generated here in forget password action this one and send to user email id ok so this id we will get here when anyone will click on the link from their email so this is our action what we will do here first we will verify the link reset password link we need to find account associated with this link and then we will provide user to 
create new password page okay reset password page so these three things we will do here but before this let's me create a view model for reset password this is required okay so i'm going to add one new view model here so I'll go to solution explorer in the models folder i will add one new class for our view model so right click on this folder in the model folder and then go to add and then click on class okay then i have to give a name here reset password model okay so this is our class name and then click on add button you can see one class is generated here now here we have to declare three property one is new password confirm password and reset code what we will get from the reset password link okay so this is our model now we have to add validation so i need to add record attribute here which we will get from this data annotation error message should be new password record and allow empty strings false data type should be password okay and in the confirm password this also should be data type of password and here we will add compare and the property name so i have to copy this one and paste it here error message new password and confirm password does not match okay so this is also done and finally i will add this required only because this field i will add in hidden field okay so this is done okay so let's go back to the action again so here first of all i will check the unique id from database okay so using my database entity dc data context now i will declare one property here user and try to find the account associated with this id so dc dot users dot where a dot reset password code equals to equals to id okay to default so if the link is valid we will have one object here for the for the account so here i will check if user not equals to null then here we will create the view model object model equals to new and here we will set the reset code to this id so we can validate this id again when we will submit this reset password form okay so from here we will return the view with this model so user can see the new form here for reset their password and if in case the link is invalid then we will return 
HTTP not found error for this invalid link okay so this action is done what we are doing here we have done one thing we just check this reset password code from database and if we found that the valid user is associated with this ID then we are returning one view okay we have to create the view so user can uh, get the page for update their password okay so for adding one new view for this action I will click here right click anywhere in this action and then click on add view okay so from here the view name is okay uh, it should be create and then from model I will say this reset password model what we have just created okay obviously we will use the layout page so directly click on add button you can see our view is created password so this is okay we have to done a little changes here what this is required new password so I'm going to close this one convert password is also required but this is not required the reset code because this reset code we will set it from the MVC action you can see here what I have done here this reset yeah, this is already we set from here for validate the account so from this form we don't need this but I will do it here in place of input field we just add one hidden field so we will get this reset code again when we will submit the form okay reset code so everything is ready here now we have to add an another MVC action in the user controller for update the password right for post this form okay so let's go back to the user controller I'm going to close this one here I will add one new action but now it's with HTTP post attribute okay and also I will add entry for three token and then public action result reset password but now with the reset password model okay let me first declare one variable for store the message information but we will show in the view later and at the end I need to return view sorry with this model and here before return the view I will set one view back with this message if there is anything we I need to show to the user okay and now first of all I will check model state for check validation if valid and else if it is not valid the message something invalid and if the model state is valid then we will update the new password okay so what we need to do is first of all I will get our data context object from here we will find the user okay so dc dot users dot where we can use this model dot reset code because we already saved this data here in this model for 
uh, find the account okay so here we will find the user account and if we found user and here I will update password it's equal to reset model dot new password but we will not save the plain password in database we will hash it with crypto dot hash what we have done in the registration as well so no one can copy this plain password from database and one more thing i will do here is we will reset password code set the, i will set this to empty okay? only one time user can update their password with this reset password code that's the reason I'm going to make this empty so no one can use the same email for multiple times okay and again I have to do tc.save changes but before this again I have to do this configuration dot validate on save enable I have to make this false for the same reason what I have told you uh, for password and confirm password match issue okay so this line is required here so this is done and user can see this message after successful update their password new password updated successfully okay so i will copy this one and we'll go back to the reset password form again and we'll add one div here for show this validation message okay so here user can see the message what i'm set going to set here okay so finally we have done all the coding now we are ready to run this application for testing but before run this application one thing we need to do is we have to update the password of our outgoing mail address so it will send the mail properly okay i'm going to update this password here but i will not show you my actual password so I have done I'm going to run this application now you can see this is the form here we should have one more link right the forward password link and for this I have to go new user and login page we can copy this one directly and create one more link forward password okay so this is done let me refresh the page you can see one link is added here now if I click here you can see we can get one text box here for provide email ID so I'm going to provide my email ID and now I will submit uh, actually this is done but I think we forgot to set the message that's the reason it's not showing any message let me update once go back to forward password and see here yes we forgot to add the view back one second I'm going to stop this one and here message should be reset password link has been sent to your email ID okay 
and here I need to say it view back for pass this message to view page. You can see there is a view page. Again, I'm going to run this application. So let me add again my email ID and click submit. You can see now it's showing the message. Now if I go to my email ID, if you see here, I got these two mails as we have tried twice. First, first one when the message was not showing. Okay. Now if I click here, reset password link, it will redirect me to a page where we can see the reset password form. Okay. You can see it's redirect me to a new reset password page and it's asking new password and confirm password. Okay, this uh, I need to fill it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now if I click create, you can see new password updated successfully. Now if I go back to the login page, before that it was one, four, three four five six seven eight so let me try with this previous one it's showing invalid that means password updated successfully yes now i can log in with the new password you can see that means it's working perfectly fine thanks for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and keep watching the .NET Awesome YouTube channel for more interesting videos. Thank you.